I'm Dave Morris. Coming up in today's episode of The Play, why a downtown restaurant plans to close its doors for a full year. When will Kendrick Perkins be back in the Thunder lineup? In your forecast, which is going to be cold. But first, the attorney for the Rodriguez family has released the cell phone video of the ongoing case involving Luis Rodriguez's death on February 15th. Nair Rodriguez shot a nearly six-minute video of her husband outside a Moore Theater, which shows several officers restraining the man face down on the ground. Police say the 44-year-old Rodriguez was uncooperative when officers questioned him about a possible domestic disturbance. Luis, are you okay? He's fine. Why you came to all this? Please, tell me. Luis committed no crime. He was not armed. He had no gun, no knife, no weapon of any kind. But Luis was the one who lost his life that night. That was the attorney Michael Brooks Jimenez there. It's unclear when Rodriguez died, and autopsy and toxicology reports are still pending. Meanwhile, the OSBI has been asked to investigate. The three police officers involved in the incident are on administrative leave. The Oklahoma City City Council voted unanimously to approve a new ordinance requiring all new school construction to include a safe room. The schools in the district are required to cover the cost of constructing the safe rooms. Now, our William Crum will have more on the new ordinance in Wednesday's edition of The Oklahoman. In business news, downtown's Cool Greens store is set to close for one year as it's surrounded by streets being torn up and then rebuilt as part of Project 180. The owner promises to reopen with expanded hours and more offerings. Our Steve Lackmire will have more on the eatery's plans to temporarily close shop and when they will be officially locking those doors. Kendrick Perkins will miss up to six weeks after undergoing surgery to repair a strain left groin. Perkins sustained that injury during the third quarter of the game against the Miami Heat. Uh, he was hobbling. He couldn't even play defense. I forgot who made a shot on the other end, but he tried to close out and couldn't even do it. So they had to get him out of the game. And um, I think they're going to handle it the right way, though, and give him as much time as possible, yeah. which is the way to do it because you need him for the playoffs. That was our Darnell Mayberry and Anthony Slater. We like to call them the Thunder Buddies. You can listen to that full podcast online at newsok.com. Now, should he miss the entire six weeks, Perkins would be sidelined until approximately April 9th, and he would miss 20 games. We'll pull out the heavy winter blankets tonight as lows dip into the 20s and wind chills are expected to be in the teens. There is a slight chance for showers in southern Oklahoma this evening. Wednesday's highs will be nearly 40 degrees, and Thursday slightly warmer with highs in the mid-50s and should remain mild through Saturday. These stories and more can be found in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Stay warm and have a great night, everyone.